Hey listen, if you have an LSX or an LS motor, you already know there's 1800 different ways to plumb the crankcase ventilation. So today we're going to talk about crankcase ventilation and how we plumbed this LSX. In this episode, we show you how to make them go faster and last longer. See my vision, I'll be in it, I'ma kill it, I'ma take it all. Come in there, I'ma play it now, I'ma kill him dark, I'ma play the ball, cause I gotta go and get him and I really just need it. Tell these guys that they can beat it. I'ma get it, I'ma grab it, man. Take it, never receive it, I'ma make it mine. I'm explosive like a mine. I've been working every time, yeah, I do it on the grind. I'ma shine, I'ma shine, yeah, every single day. I'ma kill this competition, cause I'm going so excited. Hey, hey. I'm really going so insane, yeah, I guess really ran through the pain, but I'm just back on my path and I Fix it now, it's really okay. So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time. So I'ma be a monster, I'ma kill him. This is mine, yeah, yeah. Now everybody knows that pistons have rings. And rings go right here, and they have gaps. And the gaps, well, they compress and they open. But there's an interesting thing that some people may not know about pistons and piston ring and gap. When a piston goes up and down in the motor, it makes a lot of wind. It makes a lot of turbulence. It would be nice to have some kind of system that would get that turbulence out of the crankcase to help that piston move faster and to help these rings seal better from the bottom. Because if you have a vacuum drawn out, then those rings will expand and they'll seal a little bit better and tighter from the piston to the cylinder wall of the block. And this has been proven by a number of dynos that you can search. And I remember working at Alamo Motorsports. And we had a little one liter motor we put on the dyno that had a dry sump oil system. And when you took the oil cap off that system and dynoed that car, it lost three horsepower at the tires every time. Put the cap back on, it gained three to five horsepower every time. So crankcase ventilation is very important. Oh, oh, O'Reilly. Auto parts. Ow! I got these pipes, man. What am I supposed to do with them? So we got this catch can. And we spent about $30.80 on the hose. A T fitting. Metal. And some hose clamps. people on YouTube will tell you that I have to shave and that's true but I'll get to that but they'll also tell you that if you hook up your crankcase ventilation on your LS motor that you'll lubricate your intake with oil what if there was an invention called a catch can that actually caught the oil before it went to let's say I don't know the intake then you wouldn't have to run your crankcase breather away from the motor right because it wouldn't be lubricating because all the oil would be in the can and not in the intake so let's go ahead and use the catch can for its intended purpose Like a fan 
rise from the ashes I did move this back over here a bolt because I'm kind of weary of this pole on the alternator. So I cut off a piece of heat shrink. I cut a little divot in it for the cord to go. I do my best to cover it just the best I can, you know, to protect it in case like a motor mount or something crazy breaks or this comes off its stud and comes loose and then come over here and ground off on the car and catch it on fire or something, you know? So let's go ahead and do that. Probably put a drip of super glue right here on the metal contacts and the heat shrink just in case it starts wiggling loose. We have our pitch can. Don't forget, like and subscribe, keep your turbo world. We'll see you next week.